Okay, today I'm going to be teaching you how to see light that nobody else can see. In order to understand how this works, we have to first understand that there's two different kinds of light. There's light that goes like this, and there's light that goes like this, and there's nothing else. Actually, there is something else. There's also light that goes like this, and there's light that goes like this. But because the lights that twirl like that can be a combination of light that does this and a light that does this, you can say that there's basically only two kinds of light light that does this and light that does this. So the light that wiggles up and down like this, we're gonna call it vertical light. And the light that does this, we're gonna call it horizontal light. And normal light coming from a light bulb like this screen here has both kinds of light in equal amounts. It has an equal amount of this type of light and it has an equal amount of this type of light. And I can show you that's true by using a device called a polarizer. So you can see that when I put this over here, it's blocking about 50% of the light. So it's only letting light through that goes like this. All of the light that goes like this, it doesn't let through. Now if I take a different polarizer, this one is only letting light through that goes like this, but it doesn't let light through that goes like this. So this one is only letting horizontal light through, and this one's only letting vertical light through. So now if I put one in front of the other, you can see that it now blocks out all of the light because one of them is letting horizontal light through and the other one's only letting vertical light through. So if you stack them on top of each other, then they don't let any light through whatsoever. But if I turn the top one the other direction, then it lets the light through. So doesn't let light through, lets it through. Doesn't let it through, lets it through. But then something really weird happens when you add a third polarizer to this. So I'm gonna take the top one like this and pull it up and the top, bottom one like this, peel it down and I'm gonna stick this one right in between it, like this. So now, instead of blocking all of the light, where I stuck this filter is now letting light through somehow. If I stick it in front of it, nothing happens, or behind it, nothing happens, but only if I stick it right in between does it let more light through. And this should be very weird to you. How is this filter, adding another filter or another layer of light blocking filter, letting actually more light through when you put it in the middle. So to show you how this works, I have some polarizers here and I've drawn lines on them to show you which type of photons can pass through it, whether they're vertically or horizontally oriented. So if a vertically polarized photon that comes through here strikes a vertical polarizer, it has a 100% chance of being absorbed and then re-emitted. However, if a vertically polarized photon strikes a filter that's turned 45 degrees, it now has a 50-50 chance of being absorbed or re-emitted. And when the photons do get re-emitted, they are now re-emitted in this direction instead of this original direction. And now when these photons leave this second filter and they strike a filter that's oriented in the horizontal position, they now have the 50-50 chance of being absorbed or being retransmitted. And the ones that are retransmitted now are oriented in this direction. So you can see that the final result is when there's a polarizer in the middle, it changed the orientation of the photons so that they have a 50-50 chance of getting this through this outer polarizer. So when it's not there, there's no chance at all. But when it is there, there is a chance for it to get through. So the reason we were learning about these polarizers in the first place is to make our spy glasses. And to do that, we have to use a computer monitor like this. Now computer monitors like this work by having a backlit screen and then they have a polarizer in front of it. And so any light that comes through it is now linearly polarized. And then they have some liquid crystals. And that's why this is called an LCD screen, a liquid crystal display screen. And those liquid crystals, when they have a voltage that goes through them, it can twist the crystals and so it can twist the light that comes through it. And then on the top you have a different polarizer in the opposite direction. And so if you don't twist the light that comes through it, it's gonna get blocked. So in order for light to go through, you have to apply a voltage to it that twists the light and twists it and orients it so it can now exit the front polarizer. And so that's the way that you can turn your pixels on and off. You apply a voltage through it that twists the crystal and it twists the light coming through it so that it can now exit. But what happens if you just remove this top polarizer? Well then you just have all of the light coming through from all of the pixels whether they were twists or not because it's letting all the light through now. So if you take an LCD screen like this and get a razor blade and cut into it, you can cut off the top polarizer. And so once you're done and you pulled all of this off, then when you turn it on, it should just be a blank white screen. 
So now the reason this looks white is because every single pixel, whether it twisted that pixel's light or not, is still sending out its light. And our eyes can't tell whether those crystals had twisted the light or not. And so we just get a bunch of white light coming off. But you can see if you take the top polarizer and then stick it back on, now the only light that's getting through are the pixels that twisted their light. So what this means is now if you just put a polarizer in front of the screen, you can now see a picture when other people can't. So it deconvolutes all of this white light that you couldn't see a difference before, and it lets only the light through that has been polarized so that it can pass through this filter here. And if you don't want to hold a filter up in front of the screen, then you can just actually just cut out a little bit of the filter and put it on some glasses. So now here's what it would look like to wear the glasses. So just by learning how to manipulate the light coming from your monitor, you can make some awesome spy glasses. <laughs> See that? Oh yeah, sorry. So now you can watch cat videos all day at work if you want. And that's how you use polarizers and light to make awesome spy glasses. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. Head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't checked out my subscription box yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.